it will be dangerous for Buari to arrest Sunday Ikoho because Yoruba nation supports him, Fenim Fanekaude claims. The case of the seven days automaton given to Fulani headsmen residing in Ibarapa by popular Yoruba activist Sunday Igoho has been on trend lately ever since the federal government countered the stern warning from the activist. We might want to recall that a news report that earlier stated that the federal government is set to arrest the activist for giving such a mandate to the Fulani cattle headers residing at the area. Apparently, the issue has resulted in a recent clash between the headsmen and Sunday Igoho supporters after two people were reportedly feared dead. However, pending on this very development, Femi Fani Kayori, a Nigerian politician, has come out to contribute his own opinion and as well as issue a stand warning towards the activities that has taken place lately. Femi Fani Kayori, who seem not to be in support of the case of government arresting Sunday Igoho has sent a strong message to federal government as he reveals that the Yoruba race nation is in support of him and that any action to arrest or kill him by federal government will be dangerous. Thank you for listening to this news. That is the facts and nothing but the facts. Barry must not forget that this uh, political activist that is called a talk is not just an activist. He works for the Yoruba people and he also works for the Yoruba politicians. So they will not take it lightly mm -hmm. if anything dear happens to him and men looking at it they will intervene because what he is fighting for is seen to be just he is not seen robbing or killing someone but rather he is seen fighting for injustice injustice something that you knows that i know that everybody knows that is evil that is what he was seen fighting for. So why then we worry order for his arrest and for what reason? For what reason? You see? So what Femi Fani Kayode have just said, there is a point in it. I am not so that you will understand um, the reason for him um, fighting and agitating for this race. If the, the Fulanis have been of good behavior, Igoho won't, won't even go that far in chasing them. Some persons call him a talk, but he reasons more than he that calls him a talk. Even you, if you claim that you are responsible, you can see the responsiveness in Igoho and the togri in yourself. I, um, during the Edo gubernatorial election, I said it that mm -hmm. you are talking about talks. When talking about talks, it is not the, the youth that are the talks. The talks are the politicians, those men on suits, those men on Babariga, on Agbada, they are the talks. It's just that they clothe themselves with the garment of innocence. But inside of them, there is a very serious story. They are, they are talks. They are the ones consulting these youths, giving them the, 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 the mandate, telling them to go and attack this person, to go and kill this person, to go and cause menace, go and cause violence. By doing that, they are the ones affecting these youths with the virus of violence. If they did not consult the youth to go and do this, to go and do that, to go and do to go and do that, promising them 
attractive money, that wouldn't have happened. So what are we saying? So who among the both of them will you call the doggery? Please, let us tell ourselves the truth. The talks we are talking about are our leaders. Because even before they get to that seat that they are today, they got there with crooks. They got there with deceits. Some of them killed before they got there. Some of them injured. Some of them threatened. They did all lot of things before they got to the seat that they had today. So they should not tell us those stories because we are aware of all that they are doing. Do you understand? We are here. We know everything. We know everything. So let us stop deceiving ourselves and tell ourselves the truth. Alright? So, my dear viewers, despite all of these things, we are still saying it that what is going on in Oyo is, is what uh, is what really need to happen yes it's what's it because the uh the 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 the, the amote kuns because they were installed in oyo that is why they are able to get hold of these hoodlums that is why they were able to chase these hoodlums out of the community and that is what really 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 matters do you understand? I concur to that fact and I still concur to that action and that is what should happen. Do you understand? So, my viewers, whether Sunday go gave them seven days automatic, that's why they want to arrest him or he didn't give them seven days in, in, uh, automatic, that's why they want to arrest him. The truth is that what Sunday go have actually done is the right thing. And believe you me, every other state will equally do the same. That is the governor of Ondo Sekeng, uh, his own state has not even started acting. The Fulanese in his own state have not even started acting. Yet, he has issued the directive because he wants to issue it ahead before they start acting. Because he knows them. He knows the evil in their hands. Mm -hmm. So that is why he doesn't even want such to happen. You understand? And that is the truth, my dear. That is the reality. Okay? So please, my dear viewers, um, deem it fit to leave your own comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.